Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Women's boxing, where is it heading? Uh, everybody's gonna say Porky, you was right. So, alright. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big P here. You know, you know. The voice of our core boxing. Right, straight in, no messing about. The matchroom show, the big comeback. Hmm. All the glitz and glamour, fireworks, people walking about in masks, no fans. But really, we're really interested in just the fights, aren't we? Go Jordan Gill against Reese Bilotti, right. Josh Whale were offered that fight over 10 rounds to fight Jordan Gill, right? And Mick Whale said we want 12 rounds. They didn't want it, so they got Bellotti in, because Jordan Gill's not a 12 round fighter yet. But now he's just done 10 rounds, they're talking about going for a European title. I can see where his team are coming from because he's just had 11 months on the sidelines and you're not going to go straight in with a 12 rounder, are you? But, and there were no belt, were there? I don't think last night, were there? So, but it is what it is, isn't it? But the point I want to make is, did Jordan Gill look good? Looked like a sparring session to him, didn't it, to me? I don't think they were both fantastic, but he did. He got the he got the win, and that's all that counts, isn't it? Maybe he were a bit unlucky with being ill and having insomnia the last time, but. I don't believe that. I don't believe it. I think that's just something that they've spun. I always go against the grain though, don't I? So, but he'll move on now to a European title. That's what his trainer Dave Cole was calling for. So good luck to him. Reese Bilotti, I don't know where he goes now. Probably Skid Row. Now, after that fight, we had Smith against Bennett. Dalton Smith's a Sheffield kid. He's only had an handful of fights. He's fighting Bennett, he were there to get knocked out, and as I predicted, he got iced. So I wish him well. Dalton Smith, people are maybe getting carried away with him. Let's judge him after he's had 15 fights, or 10 or 15. Let's, let's see him have another handful of fights. He is probably going to fight somebody the same as who he just fought again. Uh, but we'll see, won't we? But he did what he had to do. Good luck to him. The third fight was uh, Wardley against uh, Viali. Viali was, uh, I believe, a top, top amateur. He went gold medal in Commonwealth and he should have gone to the London Olympics. That was years ago, wasn't it? He's not really achieved what he should have achieved. He was there to lose, in my opinion, but he would tell you people who were there to win. And that's what's wrong with boxing. You get these guys that turn up for a pay check and they just fold. Like, he folded like a deck chair, didn't he? against a guy who's basically a white collar guy who's knocking him about. Is this, is this where boxing's at now? White collar guys coming into boxing getting getting English titles? I don't know. But uh, what next for Viali? Skid Row. Uh, the, the guy who beat him, Wardley, he's a Dillian White fighter so he'll get another chance. But I'd like to see him in with Dave Allen on 22nd of August. Uh, Dave Allen's in camp with Povetkin, so he can, he's already there in shape. Wardley's already in shape, it's only what, two or three weeks away. I think Dave Allen ices Fabio Wardley. If he don't, he needs to pack in as well. He'll end up on Skid Row. Uh, James Tennyson against Gavin Gwynn. Uh, I thought that we well, mismatch, people were talking about it. They were going to be this big tear up and a war. Well, it was a mismatch in my opinion, and Tennyson blew him away. So, what next for Tennyson? He'll probably go on to fight an eliminator or probably go pick up a belt. Uh, what next for Gavin Gwynn? Skid Row. So, moving on to the main event Ted Cheeseman against Sam Eggington. I said in my video the other days, the other day, we're going to be the omelette and they both mashed each other up into an omelette uh, so 
Ted Cheeseman won on points. Did I have him winning on points? Yes, but people I know had Eggington winning. Uh, but will Eggington come again? Yeah. Is Eggington on Skid Row next? No. He's Barry Earn's pet project. They'll keep wheeling him out now as a gatekeeper. So, but it is what it is, isn't it? So, Cheeseman, he'll go on to fight, I don't know, probably defend his belt or fight for another belt. But I'd like to see him in a, an eliminator for a proper belt. But, if you look at Cheeseman and you look at Eggington, the 24 and 26, they've both been knocked about, haven't they? And like I said, they call it the omelette. Cheeseman's only going to be in fights now where he's going to be in tear-ups. They they're not going to want stinkers. In Eggington, he's just going to be in tear-ups. They're probably going to have a rematch, so because the, the commentary, we're heading that way. They're trying to sell you a rematch straight away. Uh, but, I wish them both well. That's a fight of the year candidate. In fact, it probably wins fight of the year. But Eddie Earn loves a rematch and he'll look to do that again because it does what it says on tin and we'll all tune in. The show as a whole, I'm going to give an 8.5 out of 10 for all gritted teeth. But I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 because the whole setting of it were alright. And there were fights were good fights, good evenly matched fights. But they should have been doing this 10 years ago, shouldn't they? So, were it better than Frank Warren's show? Yes. It was better than Frank Warren's show, and that's got to be the yardstick now, all right? The commentary, I thought, were poor. Adam Smith needs removing from his position, and Macklin is embarrassing. They're just reading off at scripts instead of telling the truth. They need to watch back the things that they were saying. They were shocking how they're trying to narrate the story. It's all lies and rubbish, all right? So, peace out. Keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Don't have nightmares. Thank mm -hmm. you.